The, the channel. channel loves to travel. We have lots of very, very exciting shows for you today. First, we want the travel news. Welcome to Travel Gang News. Good evening and welcome to Travel Gangs Around the World News. On tonight's show, we have some very special news just for you. But first, Zach Rose and Hannah Puskash are going on an action-packed adventure around the world. We crossed to Archie for more details. Good evening. Today I've been an exciting news event. One of our teachers from Greensboro is going around the world with his wife, Hannah. We plan on spending over a year traveling around the world. We will be visiting many countries and try lots of things. We are very lucky to get this exclu exclusive news story and interview. Which places are you looking forward to visiting? We're really looking forward to going to Nepal and Africa. What are you going to miss most about Greenside? The thing that I'll miss the most about Greenside is definitely the students. How many countries are you going to? We're going to go to about 25 countries. When are you leaving and how long are you planning for going? We're planning on starting our trip around the beginning of November and we'll probably be gone for over a year altogether. Why did you decide to go travelling around the world? We decided to go travelling to learn more about the world and about the local traditions and customs. Where will you be sleeping throughout your travels? We'll be sleeping at hostels, Airbnb, different hotels and we even packed our tent so that we can sleep in the tent if we ever get stuck. Have you packed everything you needed? Yes, we packed everything and it took so long. What food are you looking forward to eating? I'm really looking forward to eating all the different street food in Vietnam. And I'm looking forward to eating all the Thai noodles. Is there anything you're worried about? I'm really worried that I'll have to catch a bus and I'm going to be sitting next to a person who's going to be holding a chicken. Um, I'm a little bit worried that we might get sick, but I'm sure we'll find a way to work it out. That sounds like a pretty amazing trip, and if you ask me, I look, for, I look forward to hearing all the news stories when they get back. Thanks to our reporter in the field for that brilliant exclusive. It sounds like a really amazing adventure. Now we head to our weather expert for the latest updates. Good evening, I'm Nathan, and welcome to the weather. Today the weather was quite cloudy and it's becoming more chilly. Tomorrow there will be morning showers. Throughout the day there is a 40% chance of rain with a maximum temperature of 14 degrees and a low of 10 degrees. The following day it should be a little warmer with a maximum of 16 degrees. However, we should expect some heavy showers in the evening. Around the world we can expect the following temperatures. In New York, mostly sunny, a high of 24 and a low of 17 degrees. In Sydney, bright sunshine and a high of 30 degrees and a low of 18 degrees. In Wellington, New Zealand, rainy with a high of 12 degrees only. And that's all the latest. Thank you for that excellent weather report. And now, Owl has the latest sport updates. In the latest Premier League in the Premier League news, Man United defeated Chelsea 2-0. Now that puts Chelsea second in the Premier League table. Ibrahimovic scored a double goal for the home team. Barcelona suffered a 2-0 loss to Real Madrid. Ronaldo and Bale scored two amazing goals in the second half to seal the deal. In the NBA, Miami Heat defeated West All-Star 94-88. With Chris Bosch being the outstanding player for the Heat, he scored 45 points. In the Australian Football League, the Western Bulldogs claimed their first premiership in over 60 years. They beat Sydney Swans by 22 points in an amazing grand final. That's all for the news update today. Thanks for watching the news. We hope you enjoyed the show. What a play. Welcome to Prize World. My name is Jaden.
My name is Cindy, we are going to be presenting Prize World. Our show consists of three rounds. Each round is worth one point. The team with the most points wins and gets to spin our Prize World wheel. But first let's introduce our contestants. We have planned a question game where one of our hosts asks questions to each of our teams. If you get the answer right, you get to open one of our prize windows. Good luck, teams. Question one. What is the capital of Brazil? Brazilia. You have won a free fan. Comes with the box. Yeah! Question two. What is the tallest building in the whole entire world? Bird Khalifa. You have won a mansion in the middle of Rome. Question three. What is the largest continent?
US is on the border of Nepal and China. That is correct. How many meters above sea level is Mount Everest? Mount Everest is 8,848 8, meters above the sea level. Yes, that is correct. How old is Mount Everest? Everest is over 60 million years old. Our final question. Who first identified Mount Everest? Uh, was it Sir George Everest? Congratulations, Team 1, our lovely prize girl, Amber, will spin the prize world wheel for your prize. Best of luck. Good luck. South America. This includes Brazil. The blue because live in a diet of special nuts and seeds that can only be found in this part of the world. Blue macaws are part of the parrot family. These birds don't eat meat, so they don't need to hunt. However, that doesn't mean they aren't hunting themselves. Yeah. We have to look out for big bad South American eagles. Blue macaws are quite social birds and gather in flocks of 10 to 30. In fact, they love socialising so much that they are even known for mimicking human speech. They're even known for mimicking human speech. That's what I just said. And about the Though the fondness is not mutual, the Sinta larger tribe is not known for being friendly. In fact, they scare away any strangers from their village in the western Amazon and are known for being fierce people. Hoje é um dia de sol. The people of the Sinaloa tribe are great at intimidating their enemies with their unusual crest and walking. Grey wolf 
wolves travel and hunt in packs of seven to eight animals. They communicate with their pack members with barks, whines and growls. Watch as the mother, aka father wolf, pulls the pack over at mealtime. <coughs> are the leaders of the pack. These wolves are marvellous creatures. That is all we have time for on this episode of Panther Travels. Join us next week to explore more of the world. Panther Travels, Panther Travels, take you where you want to be. Panther Travels, Panther Travels, come here and follow me. Roar! By the new issue of Travel Agents! These are some tough reviews. An interview with an explorer. And that's another crazy weather story! the day <laughs> buy this camping kit only at the co-op <laughs> buy it now next we are going to join those time travelers on HOT I was first in India on the 1st of May 1876. 
You loved it so much that you became the Emperor today. Thank you, you Royal Highness. I better get back to the time machine. Today. We'll see you next week. Goodbye from Trump!